In part five of the investigation, the team head over to Negrand magazine, where we conduct a glass divination session. Again, again, imagine there's a giant ball of energy above your heads, growing bigger and stronger and brighter. Then I want you to push that energy all the way through your head, down your neck, <coughs> into your chest, and then I want you to mix your own energy in with that energy you've just brought down, and push that energy all the way through your arm, into your hand, through your finger and into the glass. I want you to imagine that the glass is filling up with the energy. So there's a br bright ball of light in the glass there, which the spirits can use to move the glass. Now okay, I'm going to count the three, open your eyes. One, you do two, three. <coughs> okay, let's turn our fingers over. Let's see if we can get it going like this. We're using pinkies as well. Very good. Okay, if there's any spirits with us, please move the glass towards the white light. That is the yes answer. The red light is a no answer. So if you're here with us, could you please move that glass towards the white light for us, please? Really hard. Use all your energy, all the energy in the circle, and move that glass towards the white light for us. Mm -hmm. Everyone's arms are, wrists are hurting when they're going upside down mm -hmm. with the pinkies. Why you try on the top there instead of my pinky? Yeah, but flip over that. Okay, move that glass towards the white light for us, please. Let us know that you're here and you want to communicate with us. Come on, be really strong. Use all your energy and the collective energy in the room and push that glass towards that white light for us, please. Really strong. Come on, you can do it. I know you can. <clears throat> Try really hard. You should have fewer as well. Oh, no, you can do it. That's it. That's it. Use all your energy. Whoa. All the energy in the circle. Big round circles. Whoa. Big round circles. Circles, please. <laughs> That's it, circles for us. Big round circles. Come on, build up the energy. Come on, that's it. Can you do it? Move circles and build that energy up. There you go, come on. That's it, round in circles, lovely. Really good. Keep going, round in circles. Get faster and faster. Round in circles, that's it, build the energy. You twist, twist it slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, twist it towards your sort of like um, anti clockwise, doesn't it? Can you make this faster? I'll definitely stop the glass in the centre for us. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a white and a red light on the table there. The white light means yes, and the red light means no. Are you okay to answer our questions if we ask you? Could you answer our questions? He wants to come over. There we go. Fantastic. <coughs> so it. it just goes to prove that no one's pushing it. Because if, if somebody was pushing it, they would push it straight away. Okay, I want to try and find out if you're a male or a female. Are you a male? Are you a male? Yeah, we've had that before. It's coming from under the table. No, it's on my left leg, right on the left leg. On the side of my leg. I'm getting it for long. Is it going to be this? Yeah. yeah. Is there a 
Right, so it's yeah. male so, then. Well, we no. don't know. Don't know. Are yeah. you male? 14 degrees. Oh. It's going to be hotter because of the pool. Yeah. Are you a male spirit? Mm. Yeah. Is that you, Paul? <coughs> Is that Bob? No. Is it male? Yeah. 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 It's not Bob. It's very good. 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 It's very the glass to here for me. So say this is the bottom of the page. So you remove the glass down the bottom for me. And so move the glass here for me. Please. That's it. To here. I've noticed it responds when you say please. To here. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, what I want you to do is I want you to spell out the first letter of your first name. So this is the bottom of the page, and you're going left to right, I want you to spell out the letter of your first name. I. 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 Could you go back to the centre for me, please? Was that, was that an I? Yes or no? Please. Was it an L? An L. L. <coughs> Was it a man or a woman? Yeah, it's it's a man. Male. Mm. Beginning with L. <coughs> Could you project your name in our heads for us, please? Is your well. name Lewis? I have Lewis as well, that's a scary thing. <gasps> yeah. That was a scary yeah. thing I have. Have you got any other name in your head? No, it's just Lewis. Lewis. I have Lewis as well. Do you have a letter? Anything? Okay, there's that draft again. Yeah. <laughs> you Did you get that? No, it is. Is it the level that's going on the no, right side? Yeah, it's yeah. the left. Nobody get the green. Are you making a draft? Can you move the glass to where you're standing? I've got a second one in my head. Move the glass to where you're standing, please. Could you move the glass to where you're standing, please? Or where you're sitting. Check behind Angela if there's anything. Or behind, behind yourself. Or behind you. Shane, no one has a cam, like a photo camera. We do. Are you behind me? I've got one of my cases. I've got a camera. Are you behind Angela? You can't use a film camera. No, it's not a film one, it's a normal camera. Do you take a picture in that area, you might be able to get it or something. We've got that last one. Is your surname Lane? Lewis Lane. You can watch and see. The glass divination session in the Grand Magazine proved to be slow at first, but later on we would discover someone who was related to someone at that table. Join us in part six. <laughs>